Hi fellow investors, Joe here. What a crazy time in the market. We are seeing the biggest meltdown since March 2020 and yet I just bought some Home Depot shares today, symbol HD. I'm going to explain to you why in this video via technical analysis. Before I do, however, um, please note that this is just for entertainment and education. This is not financial advice and this is just my opinion. You need to make your own financial decisions. All right, well, let's look at why I bought Home Depot shares today and then we got to wrap things up by talking about the general market, which, like I said right now, is just crazy. So the reason I bought shares today is threefold. One, we saw a really nice bounce off the 200-day exponential moving average. That's this purplish pink line here. And this is a line during a correction that the big fish, the funds, um, look at as a spot to buy. And sure enough, they did. Secondly, this is a huge bullish engulfing candle. It completely engulfed yesterday's um, red candle, in fact, and the day before's. Um, and that is generally a very bullish signal. Let me see if I can spot another one for you. If you look right here, mid-March, here's a bullish engulfing candle and that led to a nice uptrend. Here's another one. It led to a continuation of the trend. Let's see, do we see any others? Um, let me pause a minute. You know, I didn't see any others, but trust me, when you have a stock that's correcting and then a bullish engulfing candle, it oftentimes, not always, but oftentimes marks the bottom. Then the last reason I bought is because it finished at almost the top of its range. When a candle finishes um, near the top of its range for the day, that often signifies it's going to continue going up. And here's an example here. Here's an example here. Here's an example here. Let's see. Here's an example here, etc. Now, because the market is so crazy right now, and actually I would have done this anyway, is I'm going to put a stop for 6% below um, my purchase price, and it's actually only about 5% because I got in a little bit lower here. I'm going to put it at the low of today's candle, which is 343.61. I actually put my stop at 343.59, gave it two cents of wiggle room. So unless we see a gap down, which is possible, <clears throat> I'll be protect, protected with about a 5% sell stop and my um, upside is unlimited, right? Now, if it gaps down, this is such a strong stock. It's a big cap. I can't imagine it'll gap down more than 2 or 3%. Watch it prove me wrong. But um, yeah, those are my thoughts. Now, let's zoom out and look at the long-term chart. Now, here's a five-year chart. And isn't this a beautiful chart up and to the right, 45 degrees. And we see that oftentimes the 200 day exponential average catches the stock. So let's see, it caught it right here in mid 2015, caught it right here in April of 2018, caught it in April of 2000 or May of 2019, caught it again in November of 2020. and the hope is that it's going to catch it again um, today and tomorrow. Now, as you can see, that doesn't always work. Here are certainly some violations of that 200-day exponential moving average. That's the red line going along here. Most notably, this COVID crash, which was a crazy V. And we could see this happen again, depending on the general market. And we're going to talk about that in just a moment. But... Overall, this looks like a healthy pullback in a very healthy stock. Let's contrast this with Amazon. Now, Amazon has been a phenomenal stock for 20 years, right? But if you look at the 10-year chart, look how broken this looks now. So it moved from this nice 45-degree uptrend to this flat, uh, relatively flat base on base, and then you had this two-year base culminating, let's see, culminating in this huge breakdown of 3,000 
and it's completely there's nothing but air down here right and that doesn't look healthy at all I would be extremely concerned if I was in Amazon and looking to get out on the balance to be honest just my opinion but that doesn't look like Home Depot at all does it so let's talk um, very quickly about the general market and then we will wrap this up okay now I'm just gonna repeat what I said in my uh, test the video that I made a few minutes ago and if you don't know I make test the technical analysis videos most days although it's, I am a bit sporadic so you might want to check those out if you are invest invested in Tesla or thinking about it uh, you can find those on my channel anyway the general market there are some huge uncertainties right now we have a an extreme geopolitical event going on right now Russia is posturing like it's going to invade Ukraine and if it does invade Ukraine we could see a huge crash on the day of the day that it happens and for a few days afterward secondly the Fed is meeting on Wednesday and Thursday and if the Fed gets um, assertively more hawkish on raising interest rates bigger or sooner the market which is already scared it's going to react very negatively to that and if they make some sort of negative comment again regarding the the now permanent nature of this huge inflation that would really spook the market again however we saw a big bounce today it really bounced well um, to the upside and today Monday may well have been the market bottom of this little um, correction or like I said, if one or two happen, then it might just be a dead cat before a big gully washer of a crash. So if you open any new positions like I just did, you want to keep it small. That position was much smaller than um, my normal position size. Um, new positions should be very small and you got to put a stop stop loss on 10% max 5% would be better you should be doing that anyway but especially when the market is turbulent like this well those are my thoughts on Home Depot and it's been a great stock for many years and as you can see it's supposed to make $15 per share that's pretty spectacular and it has a 2% dividend and it's been bringing in pretty good income and its revenue really has been pretty strong for a big cap up 10% last quarter well let me know what you think about Home Depot are you buying right now are you selling how do you like my strategy of buying off the 200 day bounce please let me know in the comments if you got something out of this video consider liking or subscribing take care everybody